When I first started getting into composing orchestral music a few years ago, um, I was pretty much only doing it with Spitfire's free labs library. And not to diss it or anything, but that was really limiting because I had no idea about how many different free orchestral string libraries were out there. I was missing out. So I understand that if you're getting into orchestral composition for like the first time, it can be really difficult to separate the wheat from the chaff when it comes to free uh, sample libraries. And I think when it comes to free orchestral sample libraries, we're kind of in a quantity over quality era where there are kind of a lot of options out there, but a lot of them are only like situationally useful. So if you want to get a kind of broad stroke um, overview of what free string libraries are out there at the moment uh, and how comprehensive or accessible they all are, then stay tuned because I'm going to run through them all in the uh, best possible instructional format, which is a tier list. <laughs> BBCSO Discovery, um, you're probably no stranger to this one. I have talked about this so often on my channel. Uh, really great library. The quality of the sound is kind of lacking here and there. Like you don't really have round robins and velocity layers, uh, but in return for making those sacrifices, you get the most comprehensive string library on this list by far. And that's purely because you don't just have one ensemble patch. You actually have access to the individual uh, instrument groups within the string section of the orchestra. So if you just just want to play the violins or you just want to play the violas that is all possible <laughs> Uh, layers by Orchestral Tools. Uh, first off, this one is super accessible because it doesn't require any version of contact. It runs in the sign player, which is totally free. It also has like a large kind of Hollywood sound, uh, but I will say I found the workflow very difficult to get used to. Uh, essentially, you don't really get individual sustained or staccato notes. Uh, instead, you get like chords. So you play one key and it plays the entire chord for you. It sounds fun, but in practice it's quite cumbersome because you have to use key switches at the bottom of your keyboard to switch in between like major and minor chords, which is a really big hassle and is pretty much impossible to do if you're using like a, a little small MIDI keyboard like I do. <laughs> Heaviosity Foundation Strings. Uh, I was really impressed by this one. First of all, it runs in the free version of the contact player, which is really great, super accessible. In addition to the standard staccato uh, string sounds, which are excellent, uh, it also includes a arpeggiator and a bunch of effects, uh, which are really useful because you can turn this vanilla string sound into this kind of like hybrid electronic pulsing uh, string rhythms, which I think is really useful, especially for if you're scoring for TVs or films or anything like that. Intimate Strings Light by Embertone. Uh, it's a really nice sound. It's kind of like a close, dry sound, um, kind of like a British drama kind of sound. This does, however, require the full version of Contact. Um, and you will also notice that it's kind of missing the highest kind of octave and a half of the violin register. Aside from that, though, I found it to be um, really good sounding and a pretty competent um, sustained strings uh, instrument. So lab strings, 
as I mentioned earlier, was the first string library that I ever used, uh, and I used it quite prolifically as well. Look, I don't think the sounds in this one have aged terribly well. Uh, it does, again, lean more towards a kind of like a dry, close sound, which is kind of rare for Spitfire. I mean, BBC SO is kind of the direct opposite of this. I will say to its credit, it does have a Bartok pizzicato, which you don't really see in like any of these other libraries, um, but it is implemented quite strangely. It's kind of missing all of the low end that you would you'd normally expect from a Bartok Piz, so um, quite strange and difficult to use as a result. So it's useful to have, but I just don't think the sounds are really amazing on this one. <laughs> So this is the Ensemble um, demo freebie from the Pacific Strings library. It does require the full version of Contact to run this, but the sound on this thing is just absolutely next level. It excels at doing this like action movie, larger than life kind of sound. The Spagatos cover like the entire range of the string section, which is amazing and really generous for a free demo. And then also you get these violin um, sordinos as well, which are immaculate. All around, um, it's a no-brainer if you do the full version of Contact, really amazing sounds. So these are the solo instrument demo freebies uh, from Pacific Strings. Like their ensemble counterparts, these things are really good. Like it's this is just a fully complete um, solo violin and a solo cello, um, just for free. Granted, you do need the full version of Contact, but like that's a phenomenal deal. <laughs> So, Project Sam's The Free Orchestra, this runs in the free version of Contact. I was really impressed by this one. They have some really nice staccatos, along with some like violin sordinos. It's very comprehensive and useful. And in addition to the patches I already mentioned, you also get a, quite a few like optional extras. It's mostly like combinations of sections playing together. So I know there's one patch where you get double basses and I think like horns or something, um, which it's not strictly speaking vanilla strings, but it's still pretty useful. Strobe. So this is not like an ensemble um, string library, but I felt like I had to include it just because I love this thing to death. It is so versatile uh, and interesting to use. It does require the full version of Contact, but it's so versatile, it's totally worth it. You get staccatos, pizzicatos, uh, sustains, and this sounds nothing like the violin you're imagining. And in addition to all of that, you also get this extremely cool like sequencer thing. Uh, really customizable. You can basically use it to make like any rhythm you can imagine so super valuable little free library if you do have the full version of contact Versilian Studios Chamber Orchestra. This is the Community Edition. Uh, this is a really good one. It's very accessible and I love the ethos behind it. Um, you don't need contact, it runs in its own kind of isolated VSG and there's a bunch of different versions of it. In terms of sound, it does kind of lean more towards that drier, kind of smaller ensemble size. The legato transitions aren't amazing, um, but I love this one just because of how many other sounds you get. It's basically an entire orchestra worth of instruments. There's a cymbal roll sound in the percussion section of this that I honestly use in like most of my tracks to this very day.
palette primary colors this does require the full version of contact but it's worth it for this library i would say it's very comprehensive um you get basically staccatos and sustained notes of pretty much the entire range of all the strings in the orchestra which is pretty good deal. The sound is really interesting, it's kind of like halfway between that dry um, British drama sound and like somewhere in between that and the big Hollywood sound. So it does have a Hollywood kind of feeling to it but it's kind of, it has less baked in reverb than you might expect uh, in a library like this. Haha, <laughs> oopsie doopsie, I forgot to record a um, spoken segment for this one. Look, I want to give a quick shout out to um, Volitions, the free version uh, by Venus Theory. This runs on Decent Sampler, which is a really great uh, free accessible alternative to Contact. There's a bunch of great string libraries out there, so this is just one of them. Um, but I love this one, it combines like kind of synth motifs with um, organic string samples. It's great, totally free, give it a look. So that is my tier list. A lot of this is personal preference, um, but by all means, if you agree or disagree with me, um, please do let me know in the comments because I would love to argue with you. Uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, please give me a like if you enjoyed it. If not, you know what to do. Cheers.